In addition to editing effects at the effect level and via the ESD at the Q level, we can also edit effects and how they play back at the channel specific level. Let's take a look at how that works. I have my Magic Blades here and they're on and I am going to run a mirrored out effect on them. So I'm going to grab those, offset, mirror out. I'm going to run one of our absolute chases that we've made. And now I have this chase running center out over these pixels. And that's great. I love that, but I want to make some changes. I want that top row there to run at a faster rate than the side columns. So I can come into my effect channels display here. It happens to be tab 8. And it gives me a list of all channels that are running effects. And it gives me a couple options. And depending on what type of effect it is, you can get different options. These happen to be intensity effects, so I only get rate, BPM, and size. If this was a movement effect, I would also get axis, horizontal form, and vertical form. So I'm going to grab my top blades there. And then I'm actually just going to change their rate. So I can tap in here and adjust their rate, or I can just dial the rate up on the rate encoder. And we can see as I do that on the visualizer here that now we have the top row running at a faster rate than the side rows. They're still running the same effect and the channel selection order is still maintained, but now we have the sides running at a different rate than the top. I'm going to record that into a new queue, record Q4. And now if I go back and I run this, we can see that we have our top row running faster and our side columns running slower. But we, have, we still have that channel selection order respected and maintained. So now that we have these uh, two sets of channels running the same effect at different rates, we should probably figure out how to take that off if we don't like it. If I look here in my effects channels display, I can scroll down and I can find those and we can kind of see that it's actually applied a rate of 307 to those channels at the Q level. If I want to remove that timing, all I have to do is select those fixtures, rate, enter. It's just like removing any other value and restoring it to its default in EOS, right? If I wanted to restore discrete timing, time, enter. The same with here. Rate, enter is going to reset that to its default. And now if I update this queue and I rerun it, we're going to see it's all going to run together without any of the discrete timing. 